How to become a mobile app developer? It is really simple. All you gotta do is decide which platform you're gonna build apps for and which framework and language you are going to use. In this video, I'm gonna help you answer these questions assuming that you are a total beginner who doesn't know anything about building mobile apps. So, let's get started. Hey, my name is Khalid and I am a mobile app developer with four years of experience building Android and iOS apps using a cross-platform framework called Flutter. You may not know what that is, but you will by the end of this video. Anyway, when it comes to building mobile apps, you have two options, build Android apps or iOS apps. But here is the catch, you already made your choice. If the phone you are using right now is an Android phone, you are going to build Android apps. If it is an iPhone, you are going to build iOS apps. And yes, it is really that simple in most cases. And the other deciding factor is your computer. It doesn't really matter if it is a laptop or a desktop as long as it is powerful enough to run 50 Chrome tabs flawlessly. I'm sorry, but you can't use an iPad, a Chromebook, or any of those lightweight laptops. It has to be beefy enough to run a coding software such as Android Studio to actually build your app and a simulator to run your app on. I'm gonna leave links to different resources that can help you decide which computer to get in the description box. But keep in mind, you don't need a fancy machine to get started. I learned to code, built my first app, and got my first job using this old Dell laptop until I upgraded to an M1 MacBook in 2021. Speaking of, you need an Apple computer to build iOS apps because Apple requires you to sign your build, which can only be done on a Mac. So if you have an iPhone and you want to build iOS apps, you're going to have to get an iMac, Mac mini, a MacBook Pro, or a MacBook Air. That is the cost of doing business with Apple. However, that cost is manageable if you want to build Android apps. Not only can you use any MacBook, but you can also build on Windows and Linux machines, making Android app development accessible to everyone. And before you even ask, both platforms are essentially the same, and everything else is just people's opinions. And my professional opinion is, is stick with the platform you are familiar with, because you already know how your app is supposed to look, feel, and behave. Now that we get the basics out of the way, it is time to get technical. So, to become a mobile app developer, you only need to learn one language and one framework. Yes, it is really that simple. To build iOS apps, you need to learn a programming language called Swift and a framework called Swift UI. For Android, the language is called Kotlin and the framework is called Jetpack Compose. And what you are looking at right now is called native app development. With the Swift and the Swift UI, you can only build iOS apps. With Kotlin and Jetpack, you can only build Android apps. But if you want to build an app for both platforms, you will have to learn everything on this list and build the same app twice. This is a monumental task that is almost impossible for one person to accomplish. So, companies hire an iOS developer and an Android developer to build the same app which can be expensive in terms of time and effort. So, they came up with a solution called multi-platform, aka cross-platform. Before I get to that, if you found this video valuable, make sure to subscribe because I got more amazing videos coming up. Anyway, cross-platform means you write the code once and you get two apps out of it. They use programming languages and frameworks that are designed for this purpose. And right now, the most popular cross-platform frameworks are React Native and Flutter. React Native is created by Facebook and it uses the most popular programming language in the world, JavaScript. Flutter is another framework that is created by Google and it uses the Dart programming language. I personally use Flutter to build apps and I really love it, but I'm not going to compare these frameworks today. You can do that on your own. It is raining like crazy outside. Hopefully it doesn't, it doesn't mess with my mic. All right. Now that you know which platform you're going to build apps for and which computer, programming language and framework you're going to use, I want you to go to youtube.com and watch a full course on whatever you are trying to learn. After that, it is time to build your own app. And I want to be the first one to tell you that it is not going to be easy. Learning anything is not easy. You will struggle a lot but you got this. Anyway, that is all for today. Make sure to check the description box for links and make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.